Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. This time I'm going to be recreating a dress that was designed by one of my favourite British costume designers, Cecil Beaton. Even though he was a costume designer, he was also a renowned photographer, writer, painter. This costume is from the 1947 film of An Ideal Husband. The play that the film was based on was of course written by Oscar Wilde and for me Beaton and Wilde are the perfect pairing, they suit each other perfectly. Um, I think one of the reasons for this for me is because Beaton was born at the turn of the 20th century he understood the world that these plays were written in and the fashions of the time that they were set in and he used that and then just turned it on its head and created his own world for this story to be played out in and I think it works brilliantly. The dress in the film is at the beginning of the story when it's the party at Lord and Lady Chilton's house and it's worn by the actress Harriet Johns who played the Countess of Basildon. An interesting little fact about this dress is that it was reused in the film Gigi and it was worn by one of the extras in the second scene set at Maxine's and I'll insert a little picture here <laughs> um, where you can see it. it's had some alterations but it's quite distinctive because of the coloured bands that go across the front of the dress. So I'm going to leave you now and I'm going to start making the dress and I'll see you at the end with the finished product. I start, as usual, by cutting out the skirt panels. I'm using calico to back the satin. I sew in the darts and then machine the skirt panels together using a one inch seam allowance. I attach the waistband and cover it in satin and then sew up the hem. For the skirt decorations I tow together three, four or five leaves depending on what looks good and what I'm happy with. Here I'm using just three. Once I've sewn them together I then sew the flowers on the top. Next I moved on to cutting out the bodice. I'm only cutting out the blush satin for the parts that will show as not to waste the fabric as I want to use this for another project later on. I sew in the darts and apply the boning channels. The sleeve is first cut from a layer of cotton organdy and then the blue satin.
I gather the top and bottom, sew on the cuff, and then sew up the seam. Here I'm draping all the layers of tulle that go across the front of the bodice. If you notice me looking at something in front of me, I have the film paused on the television so I can reference how it looks, and also figuring out where the line of the blue satin will go across the front. I then cut out the bodice front and back in the blue satin, and sew the yellow satin binding along the top edge. After this, I then apply the lilac band. I sew the side seams and attach the boning channels, and then finish the bottom edge of the bodice with a blue satin binding. Next, I sew the flowers onto the left shoulder. And finally, I cut out all the rectangles of tulle for the shoulder puffs, sew them together, and attach them to the right shoulder. And here's the finished dress. I absolutely love her. The mixture of the fabrics, the satin and the tulle, and the pastel colours really puts me in mind of the portraits that were painted by John Singer Sargent and Boldini, which have these wonderful, very light feelings to them. And I think this dress has that feeling too. My plan is to make the companion dress that goes with this, which was worn by Christine Norden as Mrs Marchmont. So if that's something you would like to see me do and help me along with that project, you can leave me a super thanks down below or join me on Patreon, where you will also see a lot of behind the scenes images of me creating these dresses. Thanks again for joining me in this video. And I'll see you all very soon with a new project.